Mountain Safety Research, based in Seattle, Washington, revolutionized mountaineering and backcountry cooking with the first remote canister cook stove over 20 years ago. The remote canister stove is the best all-around choice for backcountry enthusiasts and explorers because they are compact, lightweight, highly efficient, and can use a windscreen. They can also handle various types of cookware. MSR stoves are also field maintainable and will last a user a lifetime if taken care of properly. They come with a detailed owner's manual and service guide, which should be read by all new users. All owners should also use their stove in a controlled environment before setting off into the backcountry. The basics of use are lighting and cleaning, which I would like to demonstrate to you now. The next thing I'd like to demonstrate to you is how to clean and maintain your liquid fuel MSR stove. After you've had the burner lit and reviewed what might be wrong with your stove, um, before you start into the cleaning process, make sure that there is a little bit of fuel within the fuel line to help lubricate the cleaning cable. Disconnect the fuel bottle from the stove and use one of our tools, something like our tool spoon or the small tool that looks like the end of the spoon that comes with your stove. And these small holes coordinate with the cables that we have installed in the fuel line. Once lubricated with fuel, you can pull this cable out of the stove and first wipe this off a little bit because it will be clogged with carbon which is causing your stove burner not to work correctly. And once wiped off, use this cable back in the fuel line as a pipe cleaner to scrub those deposits out of the stove. The reason I'm setting it like this is you can see that this cable is bent like our fuel line and that's the easiest way for it to be assembled back into the stove. This cleaning process can take about five to 10 minutes and it's something that you need to do maybe every three to four years. Think of it as a tune-up that you give your car. This is your tune-up for your stove. The cleaning cable being used as a pipe cleaner does take a little bit of force to clean these deposits out. And once you do this a few times to your stove, remove the cleaning cable again. And now we're gonna, dis we're gonna disassemble our fuel line by removing the priming cup, popping out the fuel line, and removing the jet. The jets on a liquid fuel stove have a small needle inside. This needle is used to clean the burner as you're hiking. And that's why you only need to do this process every few years. But the reason we disassemble this is we need to clean the fuel and the debris out of this fuel line but we don't want it to get stuck in this small jet and cause another clog. So with the needle and the jet laid aside, grab a small container and your fuel bottle, attach your fuel bottle, and actually flush the system a little bit of debris. This can be a dirty job, especially if the stove's never been cleaned, but it's just carbon and you can wash it off with a little simple green or orange hand soap. Now that the fuel line is cleaned of the debris 
It's time to reassemble the stove. We'll put the cleaning needle back in and the jet back on top of there. Make sure to tighten the jet down appropriately. You don't want to over tighten it and bend the generator loop, but you do want to make sure it's snug and doesn't have any leakage issues. Push the fuel line back into the stove. Make sure that it seats all the way up and um, the threads are visible for you to screw your priming cup back in. And then disconnect your pump. Put back in your cleaning cable. Now that we've got the stove reassembled from our cleaning, we've got another many years of use in the backcountry. I hope you guys have a wonderful time. Come visit us again at OutdoorSportsMarketing.com for regular gear clinics and updates from our team.